Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I was looking through my notes first thing this morning, and I came across a study, and I thought to myself, wait, I thought I did a video on this study, but I couldn't remember if I did or not. I went and checked, and I couldn't find it, so I apologize if I've already done a video on this, but I felt this is important enough that I really wanted to share this with my audience, because I came across this study, and what's really significant here is that it looked at comparing people who did cardio only, people who did weight training only, and people who did cardio and weight training together, and then having them stop training. And they measured, took all their measurements, they checked uh, muscle mass, strength, blood lipid profiles, blood work at one, two, and three months after they came off of training. And what they found was that the people who weight trained and did cardio together kept the benefits of both longer after they quit training. And that's really important because what guys need to keep in mind, we're all gonna get sick we're all going to get hurt. We're all going to have something happen statistically sooner or later. I don't care if you've been lifting. If you lift long enough, you're going to have a life event come up that's going to keep you out of the gym for a month. It, I promise you, no matter how dedicated you are, it's going to happen. You're going to break your arm. You're going to break your leg. You're going to get pneumonia, get in a car wreck. Something is going to happen that's going to keep you out of the gym. And the reason this is so significant is because if you get kept out of the gym for a month, but you lose your gains at half the rate, if you have been doing cardio regularly with your weight training, meaning you do cardio and lifting every single week and you vary your training like that, you get those various training stimulus, that month or that six weeks that you're forced to take off from the gym or even that body part, let's say you break your leg and you can't squat or deadlift for six weeks. You're going to keep more of the muscle in that broken leg if you had been doing the cardio than if you had just been lifting without doing the cardio. And that's really important in the same thing, since you're not going to be able to do cardio with a broken leg, right? It's going to be really hard to do cardio. Try getting on your bike or try jogging with a cast on your leg. Not going to happen. But what will also happen is if you had done the weight training with the cardio, you will keep the improved blood work, the better cholesterol, the better uh, blood lipid profiles, all of that. You actually keep the benefits from the cardio longer after you quit doing it from the weight training. So there seems to be a really strong synergistic effect Effect as far as keeping your progress when you're forced to go away. And I think that's a beautiful thing to know. That is extremely helpful because we're all going to be in this situation sooner or later. I don't care what your goals are. It's going to happen. And by doing it this way, this really shows us what I've been saying lately over the last couple of years when I had changed my stance on some of this based upon new, uh, more and more data coming out that there are a large number of benefits to making sure that you're doing regular cardio with your lifting. And this is just another one to add to the mix. I mean, the fact that the cardio can help you keep the muscle and the strength that you gain from lifting for longer when you're forced to quit for a little while, for anyone who's really serious about their goals in the long term, that alone is worth doing cardio for just because it's an insurance policy. So that really makes it worth it. And I think it's something that people need to take seriously because of that, not just the health benefits for the guys who only care about their gains. You're going to get the health benefits on top of it. But when something happens, you're going to keep the muscle from the training longer when you're sitting there in a cast or after an injury or an accident or you're sick. So in short, make sure you're doing your cardio. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.